APU versus CPU with dedicated GPU. I had to do a lot of calling around to get a solid answer on this particular question. APU is a marketing term from AMD and it's an accelerated processing unit. And everyone else in the industry would call that a processor with integrated graphics. AMD claims there are small bits of differences between that and what Intel is doing, but I basically got someone on the phone at AMD, and I won't say their name so that they don't get fired, but they know who they are, to say there is no there is no difference to consumers between a processor with integrated graphics and an APU. So let me explain what's supposed to happen, what really happens, and when to choose each. So you've got a CPU for doing your main processing, and you've got a graphics card for doing your graphics processing. But if you're in an, a laptop, an ultrabook, a netbook, or a tablet, you probably don't have room for both of those. So you want what in the rest of the industry would call a system on a chip. A system on a chip is much of the necessary components of your main board all on a single die. This saves a lot of space, saves a lot of heat, and it gets you a lot of extra performance because you're not going across a different type of bus. You can have direct pathways between the, uh, the components. In pure theory, a well-designed CPU with integrated graphics processor has the capacity to be way faster than a CPU with a dedicated graphics processor. This is because the, and the connection between the CPU and the GPU could be a lot faster. As we start to move to faster and faster PCIe buses, more of that line blurs and the ability to swap out the graphics card or the ability to survive failure of either the CPU or the GPU and not have to replace the entire main board has its advantages. All of that said, AMD has a whole line of processors with APUs and the marketing pitch is get an APU plus a dedicated graphics processor and you'll get more performance than you could out of having just the CPU with that graphics card. That's true, but the APU costs more than a CPU. And if you could translate the, that spend into more money on the graphics card, you're almost always going to win. So in a desktop machine, or a machine that's going to have a dedicated graphics card, I would typically say, just get a CPU with a GPU. Don't get an APU, it's not a good investment. There are some caveats to that in the Intel space. I have an Asus laptop that runs an Intel i5 processor that's the mobile version. And the mobile version of the i5 comes with the Intel HD Graphics 3000 built into it. This is a really nice feature because what happens is my laptop will run with the integrated graphics card when it's on battery, and it will run with the dedicated graphics card when it's on AC power. This lets me have the battery life that comes from using an integrated processor, but gives me the performance when I want it of having that dedicated NVIDIA graphics processor. And so I get the best of both worlds. And you can actually assign individual programs to run on either the NVIDIA card or the integrated HD card from integrated HD graphics from Intel. I don't have an AMD to test this on, so I don't know whether AMD has a similar feature. But personally, I'm just annoyed enough that AMD was selling this feature as unique to AMD when it's in the mobile processors from Intel. And there isn't anything that they're particularly doing that's magic. It is just marketing FUD of, hey, if you get this processor, you can go even faster. They have done some integration with games so that you can leverage that graphics processor that is on the 
the main processor in games, and they've had to work with companies in order to get those. So if you've got an APU accelerated game, you will see some benefit. Not more benefit than you'd see if you had, say, two AMD cards running in an SLI or Crossfire or whichever marketing term is being used this week for dual graphics cards, but more than you'd get with just a single GPU. But there's no reason that Intel couldn't do that. I just don't think they have reached out and done those things. And again, price to performance, it's not going to make up the difference between just putting more money into a better graphics card. So I'm hoping I didn't confuse too badly. I apologize that when I'm talking about a, a term that is purely a marketing term and doesn't go with the industry standards for terminology, it's harder to explain the stuff. And like I said, I had to call AMD in order to get them to explain what the difference was between an APU and a CPU with integrated graphics. And when they finally said to a consumer, there's no difference, that pretty much summed it up for me.